On this iPad are some quotes that hopefully tell us a little bit more about you. I read the quotes, your job is to tell us who said it and hopefully then do a bit of background as well, okay? No worries. You would say to this person, I want to be big and strong. And the quote back to you would be, no, you don't. You need to be small to learn how to use your skill. My dad said that to me. Yeah. And everyone used to be bigger than me. And he used to think, like, they're just running past people scoring all the goals and I'm just running around the pitch not getting a sniff. And I just remember going home to him saying, I want to be big and fast and strong. And he's like, you don't, because when everyone catches up, it will all level out. And thankfully, yeah, yeah, he's right. Sunday league games, watching your dad, what was that like? Tell us. I can't really remember. I just go in when I was dead young and sitting on the, on the bag of balls and just watch everyone slide, slide tackle each other. <laughs> so. Was he a bit of a, a Cole Palmer or did he play somewhere else on the pitch? Nah, he was a right back. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Neville. <laughs> oh, God, right, en enough said. We have Cole Palmer, who is going to be an exceptional player. Cole has a special quality in the front of the box, a talent that is difficult to find. When he has the ball there, most of the time it ends up in the net. It's difficult to find that. Pep. Did he teach you a lot, Pep? Yeah, everything, essentially. Really? That... Just like what foot to pass with, what foot to control with, like just stuff like that, do you know what I mean? Kind of like relearning the game yeah, a little Yeah, yeah, but just like a simple but so effective way. To say to him, no, I want to try something new, it must have been difficult. My thing was to never leave City. That was not my intention. I wanted to go on loan for a year, come back and be ready for the ready for the first team. But he said I can't go on loan. Like you either stay or you get sold. So then Chelsea rang me. I said I want to go to Chelsea, and I'm really happy to be here. And I'm very glad I made the decision to come here. This leads us nicely into our next quote. It's new and it's difficult. It's everything. Cooking, finding my way around London, even using the washing machine. Mum was doing my washing at home. Mum's cooking is still the best. Uh, yeah, my mum. <laughs> no, I said that. You said that, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I just took it everything for granted. And now it's all, like, essentially gone. I'm thinking, where are you? <laughs> Signature dish? Got a few. Oh, go on. Nah, I've not got a few. <laughs> I can do steak, though. Can you? Yeah, it's pretty it's easy, isn't it? You worked out the washing machine yet? A little bit, not much. <laughs> <laughs> in the position that he plays, because he's a left footer and because he has some similarities and the quality, he's a potential Angel Di Maria. He has the capacity and the potential to be close to him. Gaffer? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of that, Angel Di Maria? What a player? Yeah. Obviously it's high praise and... You'd sign for that at the end of your career, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course, but I'm a long way away. From it. The little interactions we have with him, he seems like an unbelievable man manager. Yeah, I've noticed about it, like with everyone, it's the same. The, the cookers, the physios, us, you know, he's asks you stuff, like, he asks you questions, he's generally interested in stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, it's brilliant. Is it going better than you ever expected? Yeah, I can't deny that. It's, it's not like I wanted to just get in a team, play, and show what I can do. But to get in a team straight away and just hit the ground running, it's been. Yeah, it surprised me to be fair. Well on the quotes as well. Full marks. Thank you very much. See you for that steak soon, yeah? Yeah, no problem. <laughs>